Hey everybody, Brandon Charleston here. Going to do another quick tutorial on a project I've been working on that I think a lot of you may be interested in, and that is personalized video at a scale. So essentially there's an integration um, that's within Clay called Tavis. Uh, you may call it Tavis. There's a lot of variables to that. Uh, even them themselves uh, told me all the, all the variables. So uh, Tavis has uh, been fun uh, to experiment with. Um, there's another one called HeyGen, which actually uses OpenAI's um, text to voice or, you know, replicated uh, voice there. So definitely some potential there uh, as they expand their API and uh, integrations within Clay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you how to use personalized video at scale uh, for an email, but then also kind of segue into omni-channel approach, uh, whether it's through HeyReach or La Growth Machine, because there are obviously a number of ways you can send the data once it's generated. So with that, I'm going to show you how to build it within Clay. And right now, this is just as it is as of April 3rd, 2024. And so there may obviously be some updates or some integrations uh, that are done with regards to things like webhooks. And so with that, let's dive in. And this is just my experiment experience here uh, with it. Um, but hopefully this provides good value to you. So first and foremost, you know, you're going to want to start with one table. And what I like to do, this is a very simple table. Um, obviously, you can do your vetting and scoring of your prospects uh, however you wish, uh, just like traditional uh, ways of using clay, right? And so with this, I just did a simple name, email, LinkedIn profile. And then what I did is I just generated the video. And so all you got to do is just go to add enrichment and then generate video. And you can see that right here. What you will need to do is to sign up <clears throat> with Tavis and uh, get yourself an API key, right? And so it is a free integration. You do have to have the uh, the level of uh, Clay membership in order to get that. But, um, you know, basically you should be able to generate an API key and get that connected. And so it doesn't cost you any credits, but it does require a Tavis a subscription. So with that, um, all you got to do is just generate video. So, um, you know, there's a number of ways you can generate text to video, but all you need to do is essentially come up with your text. And this is the script for video generation. And what you can do as well that I found is obviously you could put anything in here. And so if you were to say, you know, you do your name, you do your enrichments of LinkedIn, you do your research through Clagent, uh, you know, any sort of AI research that you do based on all the things that you research with your prospects. You know, you can come up with a very simple and very scripted way to still make it relevant to the prospect. Uh, no different than if you were to send a cold email, you know, or a LinkedIn message. And so... The big thing here with Tavis uh, and HeyGen, unless it changes, but from my understanding, they you consume credits or tokens based on how long a video is. And as of this recording, I could be wrong, but one of the Tavis members have told me <clears throat> it's usually based out of every six seconds. So obviously, you're going to want to be super strict uh, and making sure that your script is pretty short. You know, nobody wants to watch a, a one minute or a two minute video, especially if it's a cold. So I generally recommend to try to keep it almost as if you're going to do an elevator pitch. Um, you know, I'd say maybe 15 to 30 seconds tops, right? So try to make it super uh, strict and scripted, uh, but still relevant, right? You don't want to do just one general one. Try to leverage the dynamic variables such as, hey, first name, thought you did this, you know, would it make it great to connect with you? Would it make sense to connect, you know, or something like that? Another scenario you could do is since a lot of times um, links and embedments are not really recommended as a first you know, email, because obviously there's a lot of uh, things there when it comes to spam, uh, but this could be leveraged, you know, say if somebody replies to you where you've already established that connection and then therefore they're going to be interested and you're still going to be okay there. As another thing too, you could, you know, if it's already established, I, um, I may do some tests with either doing the, say, the second or third email just to test to see. Definitely not the first one. But if we land in their inbox, you know, it might be worth uh, going that direction. So, and I'll show you how to embed it here in a second, which may actually really open your minds on how to use the integrations within uh, Smart Leads and Instantly and things like that. 
So you, dr- you bring up the generate video and you obviously do your API key. Now they have what you call replica IDs and these are just different uh, replicas that they have generated. But with your plan with Tavis, I mean, you could simply generate yourself with a clone. And it's no different than this video of, you know, being a little bubble right here. And then you can pull off what they call a deep fake where, you know, say something of, uh, Hey Johnny, you know, and they wouldn't be able to tell. And so, it's pretty. Uh, it's it's continuously evolving, but uh, according to their Discord channel, they're always on it and uh, doing a lot of big things up there. So uh, definitely exciting times. So with this, uh, this is for this example, they've already generated some replicas, and it might be appropriate depending on your value proposition, what you want to do, or if you generate yourself. This is definitely an option as well. But I just did high name. This is a test. You know, I did the callback URL, and then the thing is, what you want to do. There's different variables here. Um, so I did a conditional formula. And so what that'll do is that will, before you actually generate it, you're going to want to go to um, Clay, you know, and let's say, I'm just going to show you here real quick. Let's duplicate this. Don't mind all the tabs that I have. <clears throat> and you are, you're just going to create a new table. And then you're going to select import data from webhook. And then what it does, it is going to give you a callback URL. So you just simply copy this, and this is going to be your webhook table where it receives the source whenever it's generated. And the reason you want to do that <clears throat> is because traditional API calls, you send data, you get data. That's usually instant where there's not a lot of latency or lag, whereas this one, it may take a minute. So that's why we want to do the webhook to essentially like playing catch, right? When you throw something, usually you're playing catch, the ball just comes right back to you. Uh, whereas you're throwing the football or something and, you know, they're going to need to do something with it and then work on it and then throw it back to you. So uh, essentially that's what a webhook is. So we need to essentially wait on that. And then what I did here is you could see that uh, I created a webhook continuation. And so once the webhook is received, it's just going to automatically generate. And <clears throat> you'll see here, that uh, you have the callback URL, which obviously we did, but then you have you have uh, the download URL. Excuse me, let's see where's okay. So there's a couple of things here. We're gonna want to get the hosted URL, which you know it's gonna send them to a landing page. So there's a number of ways you could do a download URL, but we're not trying to send them an MP4 file, right? That's obviously not good, uh, you know, practice there. It just depends, but we're gonna want to go with the hosted URL. All right, and that's why I've added it to the surface here, to the table. And then we're going to want to get the GIF or the GIF, however you uh, say it, you know, any Ted Lasso fans here. Uh, but I'm going to say GIF for now. And uh, we're going to want to populate this and bring that to the table. And I'll show you why here in a second. So essentially we brought the, the GIF thumbnail URL and then the hosted URL. And then uh, there's a couple ways, you know, th through lookups, but I just did multiple rows just for this. But uh, you, you do a simple uh, lookup. So you just look up for row. Um, you just look up. Let's see here. Nope. Sometimes you got to populate it differently here. All right. So for some reason, if I do look space up, it brings up look up when it's one word. It, anyway, so you can usually pull it off with just the lookup row to other table, which probably is going to be a lot faster versus multiple rows. But either way, it gets the job done. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the data from the other table <clears throat> that I vetted. Right. And so you might have multiple columns and multiple things where you're going to want to send that to the other table. Essentially, this is the end of the road uh, for this particular one when you want to generate a video. And then what you want to do is continue that. So you're going to bring all the data here and you can see the records have pulled over. And so I will just populate that in this table and then I'm going to funnel it right and go all the way down uh, the workflow here. And then you got to add to, you know, whatever um, email platform that you're working with or the growth machine, things like that. <clears throat> and so what you want to do is whenever it decides to bring up, there it is. Uh, so I'm doing personalized video test. This is the campaign that I've created just for testing. And you're going to populate, you know, your very dynamic variables here. And then if you go to custom variables, you're going to want to, uh, so the variable name here is video. I just named it video. And then I have hosted URL. And then video GIF is the variable name here. 
and the gift thumbnail URL. So you can see I've matched it with these. And then this is this payload is going to be sent over to Instantly or SmartLead, right? Uh, I've tested this in Instantly. I haven't tested it yet in SmartLead, but I um, surmise that uh, it'll probably be the same since uh, everything's HTML based. Uh, but more to come on that. So I've essentially added them to a campaign, right? So obviously they've added here. So then I'll just go to Instantly. And the thing about this platform is just because of the way the Instantly API is, you're going to want to create the campaign. And then what I like to do usually is if there are no leads here, I'm just going to add a lead and I'm going to enter it manually. And I'll usually just put myself in here. I'll put myself in quotes. And then I'll add myself. And this is a scenario as if there's no leads, right? And then what you want to do is you just go into the lead. Uh, and then, you know, the dynamic variables will not be populated here, but you'll just want to go to the variable name. And you want to make sure that these, the key, there's the key and the value. So you want to make sure the key is the same as this one right here. So you want to make sure the custom variables match, definitely. I like to keep them simple so that way it doesn't get uh, all mixed up and everything. So video and video GIF, right? And so obviously I've already done that, but you can see here it'll populate the dynamic variables appropriately. And then you can see the payload actually comes across as a URL, right? And so I'm going to delete myself here. So from here, um, you're going to generate your sequence. And you can see here that I did, hey, first name, made a video for you. Now, obviously, this is not populating um, as we expect uh, in this particular thing, but there's more to come. Uh, so what you want to do is you're going to see the merge tags. And if you were to, if I were to just simply bring up this, you can see the merge tags populate here, right? And so what I like to do is I'll just bring it up. Maybe. Um, there it is. So I'll bring it up. I'll bring the merge tag to the surface here, right? So I know that that's what the merge tag is. But what you actually want to do from here is you're going to go into the code view and you're going to see all of the code here, the HTML, right? And so you can see through the div uh, blocks here that there is the text there. But then what I did is I actually just used AI to say, hey, give me the HTML code for embedding a video. And so it's just simple HTML. You usually can templatize this or just write this as, oh, we don't want definition of that. So uh, you can see here, this is the code for generating an embed video. And then all you need to do is put your merge tag in the actual HTML. So you can see here it's in quotes, right? So that merge tag will register and it'll actually work just fine. And then you can see video GIF is right here. So these are the merge tags. You know, these are first name inside just a general text here. Uh, but this is actually the merge tag within the HTML. And then if you notice, I'm going to bring that back. This doesn't populate here, but if you hit preview, maybe it should have uh, done that. What's going on here? Maybe I broke it. Um, it should, uh, of course, it's going to happen as I'm doing a demo. Hey there, this is editing Brandon. So I just cleaned up the code a little bit and I actually got it to work. There was a little bit of an issue with the HTML, uh, but you can clearly see that I got it to work. So I'm definitely not bluffing you on April 3rd. So uh, anyway, happy clay making. Thanks. But essentially what I did is I hit preview and I sent test email and I just sent it to my personal email, but you could see clearly that I receive it and it populates no problem, right? So, um, and it's a populated GIF, right? It's embedded. So this is a way where you can send a personalized video embedded with the email. So it's proven to work. This is my proof right here. You can see I'm not bluffing you. No April Fool's jokes two days later. So with that said, um, that is demonstrating how you can do hyper-personalized outreach using Tavis and then sending the payload, <clears throat> you know, such as more than just words, but actually going into the HTML body and then generating that. So if you need more uh, help or questions on that, this is just, I mean, what I would do is just, there's a lot of div blocks and it's, I probably inserted it different or I probably broken the code, <clears throat> but, um, you know, obviously I've proven that it works and then once it's set, it's good to go. So with that said, um, here's another uh, variable you could do as well. So obviously this is all good to go and I have the generated videos, but the other way you could do this just as an idea 
is for a platform such as Hayreach or LaGrowth Machine, um, you could send that payload to, uh, which is the GIF uh, or even just the video. But uh, with LinkedIn, after you already connect with somebody, if you just send them a, you know, a embedded video, a lot of times that'll populate. You won't do that through in-mails, through a LinkedIn recruiter or sales nav. It'll just be a link, which is kind of creeper. Nobody wants to click on that. But if you send just uh, the URL, uh, such as a loom or something like that, for a first degree connection, once they connect, so as a you know as a sequence, you can connect with somebody and then send them uh, as a sequence. Once it's connected, send them your personalized video, and then they'll see uh, you know your personalized video there. So, uh, so that's just another idea to uh, to really scale and AI automate uh, all your things. So uh, if this is a good value, please subscribe, like the you know videos, all that fun jazz. And then of course, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy claim making.